Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory and as you can see I am in my workshop making some equipment and I'm ready to fire up the oil producer, the oil extractor actually. So we're gonna run towards here, we're gonna hook it up. Sega. And I saw in the corner of my eye that I forgot to hook up one machine. So I'm gonna steal, probably temporarily, but that's okay. One of those poles over here. And hook that one up. And there is oil in the pipelines, which is good, which means everything's working that one's making plastics that one's making plastics he looks green he is mm, not making he's making rubber now that one making rubber that's doing nothing because it does not have enough yet. Oh, look at that. It's going up. That one's working. This one's doing a little, 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 little bit. Yep, look. It's steadily, steadily coming up. I can add one over here. And then this one is saturated, so I could actually do this. Nope. The two zoo. That one. And now I have a rubber. That one. So this was not planned. And I might oversaturate it. But we will see. And it should go here. On uh, that one. Is it straight? Yes, I think it is. Nope, 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 nope. It was the right direction, but I clicked to too soon because now it's not in the right direction now it is and then I'm gonna steal that pole and I'm gonna put it right here put that one right here delete this one add that one nope not residual rubber 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 run here dump the rubber 120 rubber ready that is nice and that is 130 of that and they're all up and running so the only annoying thing is this one is producing fuel 40 a minute once this is full I can flush it I can just flush it and then I can produce a new batch so I'm, I, I then I'm just no. can, I, can I do that yes so that is running efficiently at this moment 
that's good. Now I can add a lot more of these. But... And I have to think. Because this one is producing... 240. Two forty, and I was on hall. Oh, that's thirty for this, thirty for that, ninety and sixty. Could do one twenty. I can. Yep, I'm out of motors, so. Add that. I have to do this. Oh, that's not gonna snap. That's a bummer. Are you gonna snap now? Oh no, it's not snapping. Mm, delete those. Add that one. Delete this one. This is crooked. that way I'm gonna repair it for the next one just gonna prep it already again but that's okay Pick that one back up make this plastic everything's gonna rush in I kind of need some pressure in this one and I gotta redo this one Why is everything going to be so crooked today? Just like that. And now everything should be straight. There's some pressure in there. We're going to take two stacks, because that's 200 of that. We're going to take one stack. I kind of want to do two stacks, too, but I got to wait. So that's what we're going to do. going to buy another one. No, I need motors. 
How are the buffers going? They're okay, they're okay. I'm gonna flush that one. I'm gonna flush him for now because I cannot use it yet. You're working, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And that's another stack. So we have our oil production up and running. This is 90 and 90. That's 180. I have 60 left. So that's two. Oh man, I can't fully utilize that one. I can only add two more. Wait a minute. You're gonna power slug it. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Nope. Not that one. I'm gonna delete those. I'm gonna do a two ramp. And I'm going back to that one. Build a lovely plateau over here. Just because I can. And now we have to go back again. And I might prep. this. So how does this look with a Mark 1 belt on this side? So it does not have any elevation changes so I could do this. That's a stack. That one. All I have, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back and prep it for the belt. Just like that. Only that's gonna be annoying. At the moment I run out of stuff, I have to run all the way back. Or something is spitting at me. And I hear another one. Hello? Not that far, right? Almost out of plates, though. I can place 18 more. That's nine poles, and I can see I have way more. So once I run out of stuff, I'm going to whip out my wagon and I'm going to ride back. can place one more. That's it. Change it. I'm going to do that one for now.
and let's race back. Because I do have a little ways to go. Not that long, because there's the Caterium already. Oh, but I swear I would have hit that. Oh, and, and another. Hmm. Yep. I already thought that would happen. So I have to see how I'm going to bridge this piece. Might just go forward. And then on top of that one. Yeah. So that hypertube is sandwiched between belts. Could have taken the hypertube at the Caterium R though, but I didn't. And I am going to dump the plastics and rubber right around here somewhere so I can build over here what I need with plastics. The Caterium is right there, so I could also go that way. Ooh, I might have built the wrong plateau. I can rebuild that. No problem. I'm gonna hop out again. Pick it up. Store that one. Now let's see how many motors I have. It's not working anymore, so I think I have 50. Should have worked that one out. 55. Grab some rotors. Hmm, should automate that. Rotors, stators. But Kseferos, this is an automation game. Why didn't you automate it yet? Yes, I knew, I knew. So, I have all of these over here now. So they're not coming in. I have a lot of this over here. That reminds me, I was making a lot of that. Versatile frameworks. I need 2,500. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. That's 500. Yep, I'm gonna need a lot more. I'm gonna grab as much as I can from uh, this one. And I'm gonna dump a lot. Do I have any framework still hanging around? Out around here? No, I do not think so. Nope, I think everything framework-wise is done. That means I can just plunk them in here. Although I do want two stacks for myself. Please. And with that, I am going to do the plastics, uh, the rubber, and uh, I, I wanted to do 50, but oh, yeah, oh well, 55 is good. So what did I do? Expand the tool belt, which tool means belt has been expanded. I can now do both of them. Although I do have to rearrange them a little, like that. Do I have anything other I want to own near? Oh, I can't do that yet. Caterium. Oh, yes, I have the rubbers now. High speed connectors. Why can I afford to? I need Caterium wire. 
that means I just have to rush over here. Uh, no, I don't want to ramp over here. Do I? Don't know. Might do. So the Caterium is kind of saturated right now. Everything is saturated. Now it can go again. Yep. Yep. Some of them are going. So the rubber. High speed connectors. Caterium, high speed connectors. Takes three seconds. Then we have supercomputers, for which I need computers, and that I need AI limiters, and the AI limiters were over here. Can make AI limiters, I can automate them, although I do need to... F pre preferably I need another copper node somewhere else. Now... I... What do I need to make... Oh, I can make circuit boards. AI limiters. High speed connectors is quick wire cables and circuit boards. And circuit boards is that. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I still have that on me. Don't need that. Mm, dang it. Now all I have to do is wait on the motor. Oh, I already have a lot. 21. That's not a lot. Oh no, I just have the, the 21. I have a power shard. Oh, I have the power shards on me. Dang it. Thought I didn't. So what I could do... Oh, I'm missing plates. Oh, I make plates over here now. That's right. And they're coming out of here, so that means this row. I have automated. All I have to do is bring the rotors over here, but I just have one, one machine making rotors, four per minute. It needs 100, now we need to go down. How much am I making? 40, 120. Although I think I am making way more rotors than I should be. Yup. Yes, I am. But, but this one's gonna bypass. That one going into here, going upstairs. What's it doing upstairs? Rods. I was just going in this machine. And then it's actually going 
to go up one higher. That's not correct either. Come on. I'm gonna split my way. And the first. That's going wrong. Why are you being so annoying? That's the wrong way. Do some crazy stuff. Can I make this bent? I can. So this is gonna... Ooh, I can make alternate rotors, of course. Then I don't need screws. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That's so much easier. That should have been so much easier. Probably going to cripple my screw production. That way, that way. So I'm gonna remind myself of that by building that one over here. So I cannot build any more of them. And then dump a bunch of them over here. Screws are going. And 
that. And I'm going to do some fun. That's the correct way. Is this uh, the correct corner piece? Yes, it is. Oh yes, the spaghettiness is gonna start here. that and now my rotors are automated too and I can do this way Right. Yes, I think you are. And I know you're going down a little. That's okay. And now all the motors are going in there. And my motors are automated. So let me just quickly grab motors while I'm here. I have it 50 as I see it my stacks jump down here how is this one going it's keeping up that's good how's this one going though that one's gonna drain how are these empty that's not Empty though. I just can't keep up with my beltage. I think that was a problem. Belts weren't going quick enough. Like that. 20, 20, 90, 20, 20, 90. I think it is barely balancing out, or just barely not. We want 10 rods a minute. I am making 10 rods a minute. I might be in luck with this. Nope. You're not doing anything, but anyway, I have the motors necessary for this. And with that. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, yes. automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. Sure, sure, sure. Anyway, manufacturer. It needs uh, reinforced. That's a annoying to create. Logistics, nothing. Organization, nothing new. Transportation, I have a truck now. That's just a big tractor. That's it. Nothing new, nothing new, nothing new. So, let's 
walk into a wall. Uh, ultimate, like I said, the packager. I really need the packager, although I need empty canisters and empty canisters in here. Industrial fluid buffer. Oh, I need those. Gas mask is okay. Fuel gen, kind of wanted too, but I need computers. And I can scan for Caterium or I already have Caterium or Jetpack is cool. Monorail is epic. And Pipeline Engineering Mark II. Oh, I can do 300, that's right. I forgot. So, I'm gonna select this for now. And then we're gonna see what does it take to make 10 of those heavy modular frames. It takes a lot. 10, I need 500 of those. Oh, I have also got some screws over there. Those are modular. No, those are the reinforced plates. I need these. So I think I wanted 10 of them. Nope, 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 that one. That one. Oh, look at the screws I need. Oh man, I need screws again. So I might just rearrange this. Um, the way down is over here. Woohoo! Nope, that's rods. It is balanced. But I'm gonna take two stacks. I have three, and I can make I can make ten at this moment. Yeah, because I have a thousand screws. But I'm just gonna make this seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I can make one manufacturer, and it's huge! And it can make beacons, high-speed connectors, computers, and those other thingies. And look at that, it needs the automated wiring and the wire plates? Don't know what they call. So I need the stuff I already may I used. So computers, also thick screws. Screws are annoying. High speed connectors. So I need modular frames, the pipes, and that to be automated. Interesting. And I also need, oh look, it, it's stuck already. It needs 10 a minute. I made 12 now, if I can keep up with everything. But I do have a little backlog over here, so that's good, that's good. Um, are you, oh you're out of frames now. Let me grab some frames for you. Oh, this is gonna hurt. No. Um. Nope. I'm gonna dump some over here because I don't know how much I already have. Six hundred. And the rest is 
I have 1,000. I need that one and a half times over. And I think I dumped them in the bottom one, so... Except for two stacks. They're gonna work again. Motors are running. And I want... Oh, I have the packager right now. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but that's... If I have 25 heavy frames... Um... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna do the same as what I did with the motors. I'm gonna steal a power pole over here. I'm gonna hook that one up. I'm gonna say heavy modular frames and I'm gonna just gonna dump everything in there. That's 10. Ooh, can I do another one? No, I can just do a stack of 50. Um, I'm gonna just go do stacks of everything. Uh, steel pipes is over here in the third. Nope. That one. One stack of that. One stack of that. And the other thing it required was... Ugh, screws. Two stacks for ten of those. Yuck. Now it's no, it's not going down. Because I needed two stacks. Why? Why didn't I just do this? That's easier. So that is gonna make me ten heavy modular frames for now. Dang! How's my power? Ugh. I am producing almost 1600 on max consistency. If everything's turned on, almost 1600. Hmm. Grab that one. You know what that means. We're gonna call it an episode right here. We did a lot. And we have to do a lot. So I probably going to bring the rubber and the plastics here. And I'm gonna focus on the alternative fluid transport because I wanna package up the fuel and as long as I don't have fuel generators or I might do smart splitting with what doesn't get used by that I'm gonna dump it in a in a in a in this one because why not although I kind of do need fuel generators because I'm getting power issues not really long from now but anyway thank you all for watching and please hit that like button and subscribe button and uh, comment down below what you think we should do next because I have a long list at the moment thank you for watching hope to see you next time bye